hundreds of metal statuettes and larger stone statues of Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva of Compassion, have survived in maritime Southeast Asia, including areas like peninsular Malaysia and Thailand. Among the earliest depictions, Avalokiteshvara is often shown wearing a tiger skin, wrapped around his hips with the paws tied at the front. These images have been discovered across the region, from the Malay Peninsula to Borneo, Sumatra, Sulawesi, and Java. Although Avalokiteshvara's ascetic form eventually fell out of favor, the use of the tiger skin with standing images of Avalokiteshvara persisted in local art until the late 13th century. The earliest Southeast Asian images of Avalokiteshvara with a tiger skin show some experimentation in their artistic treatment. Early attempts at portraying a tiger skin wrapped around the hips focused on the placement of the tiger's head, either on the bodhisattva's right or left hip. Only three such images of Avalokiteshvara have survived, which show the head on the left hip. Two of these statues are believed to have been found in Thailand. They each show Avalokiteshvara as an ascetic, wearing a yachnopavita, or a sacred thread, and no jewelry, indicating it could have been produced late in the 7th or early in the 8th century. One example is a four-armed statuette in silver, which is now at the British Museum in London. The particular style of depicting the head on the left thigh possibly fell out of favour after the 8th century, being supplanted by placement of the head on the right thigh, which became popular in maritime Southeast Asia thereafter. In general, there are two styles of draping the tiger skin when the head is placed on the right thigh. In those cases, the head faces to the side or at an angle. One style has just the head visible on the right thigh, and the second has the right front paw dangling below the head. This style of tiger skin has been found across maritime Southeast Asia over a longer span of time than the first type described previously. Among the earliest images is the stone statue found at Musi Ulu near Palembang on Sumatra, which was the first image in this video, and the latest being from the end of the 1200s when the tiger skin was included on a statue of Amogapasha Lokeshvara from Chandijago in East Java. It became the most common form of depicting the tiger skin as the majority of the surviving Avalokiteshvara images show this type. Interestingly, even in images of a similar style that may have come from the same workshop, the tiger skin was not always present in depictions of Avalokiteshvara. Unfortunately, we don't have any textual sources to clarify when or why this iconographic feature started being used in the 7th and 8th centuries. However, it seems that the tiger skin was more commonly paired with the multi-armed form of Avalokiteshvara than with the two-armed form. Its inclusion may have been up to the individual artist or the person commissioning the piece. The tiger skin's origins likely trace back to the iconography of the Hindu god Shiva before being incorporated into Avalokiteshvara imagery in maritime Southeast Asia, possibly starting in the Thai Malay Peninsula and spreading to the other parts of insular Southeast Asia. The varying styles of tiger skin reveal how the artistic language developed locally for Avalokiteshvara images. In the early stages, Different styles of tiger skin were used, but the tiger's head was always visible in some form. Eventually, the style became standardized with the tiger's head resting on the right thigh and its front right paw positioned beneath the head.